Hey guys, have you ever been watching one of your favorite movies when you come across a fictional product on screen and think to yourself, man, I wish that were real? Well, thanks to a growing market centered around the defictionalization of pop culture wares, there's a good chance that the next fake product you see might actually be real. <laughs> Remember Sex Panther? Well, next time you need to musk up before doing the no pants dance, you can slather up with the same brand of cologne used by everyone's favorite sexist news anchors. Here's hoping it smells better than it did in 1970s San Diego. Oh, it smells like, like a used diaper filled with Indian food. Oh! Turns out that the same company that manufactured the real life version of Sex Panther also makes a manly bar of Fight Club soap. No word on the website if it's made the same way as in the movie, but we do know it contains electrolytes, caffeine, and punching. It hit me in the ear! So what else has Omni Consumer Products converted from fiction to reality? Well, besides their name, which they literally took from Robocop, nice, they've also got the snacking front covered with Stay Puffed Marshmallows. The bite-sized ones, not the city-destroying terrorist kind. And Idiocracy's trademark energy drink, the Thirst Mutilator, Brondo. Drinking it will make you wonder why you haven't ever crushed a human skull with your bare hands! And OCP is hardly the first company to utilize this tactic. Remember your childhood favorite Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Yes, the same one that traumatized all those kids in the 70s. Well, turns out it was also a feature-length commercial that Quaker Oats commissioned to help launch their first candy bar. And over 40 years later, we still have a whole line of delicious, if not hallucinogenic, candy from Willy Wonka. So what else did we get from the movies? Well, if you're an Anaheim Ducks fan, you can thank Disney's 1992 classic, The Mighty Ducks. True story. And if you're a movie fan, and let's face it, you've made it this far into a video about movie products that became real, so yep. There's the movie Machete, which was based on the fake trailer that appeared in the Tarantino Rodriguez double feature Grindhouse, and even the upcoming Batman vs Superman was teased as an actual movie in the 2007 adaptation of I Am Legend. There it is right there. Okay, here's a fun game you guys can play. Google search movie jacket replicas and see how long it takes you to max out your credit card. Off the very first result, you can get the scorpion jacket from Drive, the sweet red leather jacket from A Place Beyond the Pines, or the sweet leather jacket from Blue Valentine. Basically, you can get any jacket Ryan Gosling has ever worn. And the rest are just really expensive Halloween one-offs. I mean, you can't just rock a thriller jacket whenever you feel like it. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but I don't recommend it. What's great about defictionalization is that you never know what spurious item will suddenly become a pop culture crossover reality. I mean, it could be something as simple as a plain red stapler. Just like the one Swingline had to mainstream after it appeared in office space and there was suddenly a demand for it. It's that random. So with that in mind, here are my humble suggestions for what we should manufacture next. Slusho! J.J. Abrams' faux refreshing slush with its quote-unquote special ingredients. This super addictive beverage has popped up in most of Abrams' work including Star Trek, Super 8, and Cloverfield. Makes you wonder if they'll have it in a galaxy far, far away. Heisler Beer. This ubiquitous movie and TV brew is manufactured by prop maker Independent Studio Services and is predominantly used when characters are doing drunken things on screen that popular beer companies don't want to be associated with. But if it's good enough for Michael Sarah and Superbad, then it's good enough for me. Not that we condone smoking in any way, but if Quentin Tarantino's Red Apple cigarettes were real, I would start smoking. That's some legitimate fan currency right there. And you can tell Tarantino's proud of this brand because it appears in Pulp Fiction, From Dusk Till Dawn, Four Rooms, and Kill Bill. While we're talking about things that are flat out dangerous but still awesome, the brain-boosting drug NZT from Limitless would be nice to have, as would a non-murdering version of David Ait from Prometheus. He would really have to not be a deceptive murderer though, that's kind of a deal breaker. And of course, we mustn't forget the holy grail of fake movie products, and that is... Hoverboard. The Hoverboard from Back to the Future 2. I have faith in this one. They still have time to get this done, and I want to live in a world where this happens in 2015, whether it's safe or not. I guess while we're at it, I'll take a tin of Dapper Dan pomade, please. I just like the way it sounds when you say it. I'm a Dapper Dan man. And I'll admit that part of me has always wanted to taste a nice tall glass of warm blue Bantha milk. But that's just me, and these were my suggestions. So let us know in the comments if we missed any cool movie products that are up for grabs out there, as well as which fictional movie products should be made real next. And as always, stay tuned to Ask Men for more entertainment coverage.